Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a few environmental sustainability hacks. Within all realms of my life, I'm always trying to ground myself in sustainability and just overall caring for the earth and all its beings. So today I decided to do a video on how to be greener in your daily life through some conventional as well as unconventional ways. So the first tip is to use Ecosia as your default browser. Ecosia is a search engine based in Berlin, Germany, that uses ad revenue to plant trees where they are needed the most. By using Ecosia search engine, you're not only reforesting outside, you're also helping animals such as the blue and yellow macaws in Brazil, chimpanzees in Uganda, rhinoceros in Indonesia, lemurs in Madagascar, elephants in India, and birdwing butterflies in Australia. Ecosia also partners with institutions such as the Jane Goodall Institute to monitor tree growth using satellite technology to make sure the trees survive. Did you know that every email stored in your inbox and sent box is using up energy? Decluttering your inbox is an easy way to reduce your carbon footprint. In this day and age, it's impossible to consider our lives without these virtual messages. But do we ever consider the environmental impact of these virtual messages? At first glance, it may appear that these digital messages are saving resources, as they need no stamps, no paper, no transport, and no packaging. It is easy to overlook the invisible energy usage in running the network and maintaining the entire physical structure behind it, particularly when it comes to sending and storing data. Every single email in every single inbox in the world is stored on a server. The increasing quantity of data requires huge server farms. These are gigantic centers with millions of computers that store and transmit data. These servers consume massive amounts of energy 24 hours a day and consume countless liters of water or air conditioning systems for cooling. The more messages we send and receive and store, the more servers we need, which means more energy consumed and more carbon emissions. I went through my inbox a little while ago to clear out my mailbox of any unnecessary emails from 2006 to current. I came across quite a few interesting emails from friends and family, which of course I kept for sentimental value, but there were tons that I was able to get rid of. And one thing not to forget while doing this process is to go through sent items as well. Every single time you shop, there's an environmental price tag attached, regardless of the item. Don't be swayed by greenwashing. There's a new movement to be more environmentally conscious. However, companies can hold on to these green labels and use their marketing to appear more environmentally conscious than they really are. It's always a worthwhile question to ask, do I really need this item? Will it give me some sort of joy and mindfulness to acquiring this item? Or am I just shopping for it because it's trendy and sustainable and I'm going to look good in some way? Every single item you purchase has an environmental impact, no matter how green it is. From the resources consumed to produce this item, to the transportation, storage, packaging, and then the eventual disposal of this item, which in almost all cases does not happen in the appropriate manner. There's this notion of voting with your money, and I do believe that. So use your money for a good cause and support the industries that are doing good for the environment and not using it towards industries that are harming the environment. Returning products may refund your pocket, but does not refund Earth of its resources. You may be thinking that a returned item goes back to the store, is repackaged and sold again. Wrong. It actually costs a lot of money for the company to sit down with the item and have someone look at it and eyeball it to say, is there something wrong with this? Is it damaged? Is it in the correct packaging? Is it okay to be put back on the rack? 
Is it still up to industry standard? And will they be sued for putting this back on the line? And many times they burn this item or throw it in the landfill. And as you may be rightfully wondering why this is not given to charity, it is because they do not want to dilute their brand and their image and want to maintain exclusivity of the brand. In Canada alone, $46 billion worth of goods get returned each year, and most of it ends up in a landfill. So to recap, use Ecosia as your default browser. Clear all old, junk, sent and unnecessary mail. Know that every time you shop, there's an environmental price tag attached. And number four, returns come at a cost. I hope this video has helped you in some way and that you'll be implementing one or more of these in your lives. I have many more such tips and I'll be posting those in future videos. So stay tuned for those. Until next time, be the change you want to see.